a small, quiet space dimly lit with a calming waterfall. It could be mistaken for the waiting room of a spa, but it's a room in the intensive care unit at Elliott Hospital, a staff gift from the doctors and nurse managers. That way the staff could step off the unit and feel like they could have a moment to breathe um, away from the sounds of the monitors and the IVs and to just kind of have that time to decompress. I just feel incredibly grateful and I feel like it's just going to be amazing just to take those few minutes. The ICU visitor waiting rooms are usually filled with loved ones of patients, but they've been closed since March due to the pandemic. Leadership decided to convert the smaller of the two into this escape, soon to be equipped with a massage chair. Resource nurse Stephanie Joyce says those who end up in the ICU with COVID-19 typically have a long stay ahead of them. And what's been most emotionally draining for the nurses is trying to comfort those who cannot have family by their side. We do the best that we can to try and have some interaction with your family, but nothing takes place of somebody standing at your bedside and being able to hold your hand that you know. I mean, we can stand in their place, but we're, we're not good enough for that. The nurses say support from the community has kept them going, but they have been relying on each other to get through these long months because only they understand exactly what they're going through. You can't really describe it. Uh, you know, it's kind of like you're going to war every day. So it's challenging, but um, it makes it better when you're going to war with people that you love and care for. In Manchester, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.